It's the Arkle Novice Steeplechase. Nixon, no, he's not a weak girl. It's the Irish version of the Arkle. And it's crisp at the top. It's two miles and one furlong. David Hooley, the trainer. Phil and Tricker for David Robertson. Good Street. David Hooley again. Il Duomo. Darren Thompson. Savage Garden. Graham Clitterbuck. The Supreme. Joshua Sutherland. Come and see. Leon Van Rensburg. Phoenix Flames for Paul Rhodes. Rich D for Craig Beckwith. And the roadmap for Joshua Sutherland. So, calling in the rain then. And away they go. What a ridiculous scenario. I'm having an arc for novices over two miles this week. And the same again next week at Cheltenham. But anyway, they get to the first. You'd have thought they could have thought of a different name for this one or the other one. Oh, maybe made them a different distance or something. But it's a bit daft. But anyway, the road map's in the lead. And Rich D is second. the stand and the road map is the leader from Phil and Tricker who's just about second and then comes Good Street and Savage Garden and they feel a pretty tightly group with the exception of the leader who's got a lead of about three lengths to Phil and Tricker in second and then Good Street so they get to the second which is a big ditch and they're all safely over that one the road map continuing to show the way. Pops over that one nicely. And leads by two to Good Street in second. And then Crisp. Then comes Il Duomo. And towards the back, come and see. It's just the back marker, but it's the road map who's setting the trail at the moment. Leads by about two lengths or so to Stable Make the Supreme, who's now moved into second. Duomo is third in the white sleeves of the two purple jacketed horses, Good Street and Crisp. And Phoenix Flames just tucked in behind them, but out jumping Good Street there for Paul Rose. Then on the wide outside, Rich D for Craig Beckwith, who's been pushed along Phil and Tricker for David Robertson in the turquoise and pink. And then the back two are Savage Garden and Come and See, but they're already getting down towards the midway point. And the road map is in the lead by about a length and a half. To El Duomo in second, the Supreme in third, as they get to the seventh. Uh, bit of a mistake there by Phil and Tricker as it was starting to make a move, and that one's now shuffled back towards the back. But the road map is still the leader then, coming down to fence number eight. This is four from home, and all over that one nicely with the road map in the lead. The Supreme in second, and El Duomo third. Then Crispy's fourth, bit of a gap then to Phil and Tricker and Savage Garden. And Phoenix Flames, Rich D and Good Street, and come and see virtually all in a line those at the back. And they're racing down towards the final three fences. They've still got five furlongs to race and three to jump. And the road map being pushed along in the lead then. Jump that one slowly. Better jump by the Supreme in second. Then comes Crisp and Il Duomo with Phil and Tricker and Savage Garden and then Good Street and Phoenix Flames come and see and finally Rich D racing down then towards the final two fences over the second last they go and they take that one nicely they're all over it well they still swing towards home in there and the road map is still clear the road map clear of Il Duomo in second the Supreme is third the Crisp is fourth then comes Savage Garden and then Phoenix Flames and Phil and Tricker but they've got to get to this road map he's in the lead he's clear by two Il Duomo looks the biggest danger as they come down towards the final fence in there over it they go, better jump by Il Duomo and moves up alongside the road map. It's the road map of Il Duomo. They've got a furlong and a half to go. And Il Duomo on the near side is beginning to get up on this now. Pulls towards two to three lengths clear. Suddenly the road map's got nothing left. He's passed by Crisp as well. This is going to be Il Duomo causing a bit of an upset as the two Joshua Sutherland hot pots are beaten and they're racing up towards the line and Il Duomo is going to take it up towards the line a clear win for Il Duomo first Crispy second the Supreme third then Savage Garden the road map Bush Street Phoenix Flames and all the way back to come and see and I think most people were expecting Joshua Sutherland to take that one but Il Duomo has taken it pretty comfortably uh, for Darren Thompson, Crisp second for David Hooley, the Supreme for Joshua Sutherland, 180 rated was just third. Savage Garden for Graham Clitterbuck was fourth, and the road map also rated 180 was only fifth. So it'll be interesting to see the rematch next week.